Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Lila. Today we're going to be talking about a TikTok video I posted and everybody was asking so many questions about wondering what happened next and in this video we're going to explore the full story. So let's get started. So this story starts with a couple named Leonardo and Angela who have been together for three years. They were a great couple, the kind that seemed perfect and happy. Until one day, Leonardo unexpectedly breaks up with Angela. Everyone was surprised, especially her, because they had planned to get engaged the next month. Angela tries to understand why he did this, but his responses are so dry with no real reason for their breakup. He ignores her calls, her visits. A three-year relationship is thrown out the trash. Until one day, something strange happens. She gets a notification on her Instagram from Leonardo, who she has unfollowed, saying that he has mentioned her in his bio with the ring and a heart next to it. Which is strange because they haven't talked since their breakup. Angela then calls Leo to ask him about this, but he doesn't respond. She then decides to send him a DM, but it's been two days and still no response. So she goes to his house to ask him why he randomly put her on his bio. But when she gets there, she sees police officers coming in and out of his house. So she runs to them in panic, asking what is going on, what happened. The police officers ask her who she is. She then explains that she is the ex-girlfriend of the man who owns this house. They then tell her that Leonardo has been dead for two days. No one knew about this until his sister came to visit and found him dead in the bathroom. They then tell Angela that his death is still unknown. They're not sure if it was a suicide or a murder. They ask Angela what was the reason for her visit. She then goes on to explain that Leonardo mentioned her randomly on his bio even though they had been broken up for a while already. She shows the police this and they ask her if they've had any contact with each other since the breakup and she says no. The police tell Angela that they need the crime scene cleared but they'll let her know if they have any more questions. Angela goes home and a few days later, she sees Leonardo's case on the news. Police have discovered that he was murdered and it was staged to look like a suicide. The next day, the police call Angela in for questioning but they tell her that they found her thumbprints all over the body. Angela then tells them that that is not possible if she hasn't seen him since their breakup. The police tell her that the DNA doesn't lie and she is the only one who had motive because he had broken up with her out of nowhere. They even show her a message she has sent Leonardo a few weeks after their breakup stating that she could kill him for all the pain he has caused her. Angela, in her defense, says that she was just angry and hurt when she sent those messages. She would never actually do them. But soon after, they take her to trial and all the evidence is pointed against her. But she knows that she is innocent. She did not do this. And after the trial is over, she is sentenced to prison for life for the murder of Leonardo. That is, until 10 years later, Leonardo's sister discovers something on his laptop. She finds a note on his Google Docs, a suicide note, but one that he never printed out. She then sees what he wrote to Angela. He says he has no love for Angela after what she did to him and that the blood of his suicide are on her hands. What was weird is that he had never printed out this letter. It was kept in secret as if he had changed his mind on exposing the note. Due to new technology, they find out that Leonardo's murder was actually a suicide and that he set up Angela to make it seem like she killed him. But what was his motive to set her up? They released Angela after 10 years in prison, but they still don't understand why Leonardo would go to such lengths to frame Angela. That's when Leonardo's sister Olivia goes deep into his emails and finds an email between Angela's old co-worker Frank and Leonardo. Angela
remembers this co-worker. He used to be obsessed with her that he would even stalk and harass her outside of work. She had to continuously report him until he was finally fired. She then sees emails between Leonardo and Frank going back and forth just a few days before Leonardo ended their relationship. In the emails, Frank tells Leonardo that Angela was cheating on him which was always Leonardo's biggest fear. Angela then looked at the email where Frank had told Leonardo that she was cheating. She saw the image attached and clicked on it. That's when she saw her kissing her ex-boyfriend. That's when Angela remembered the one time she had cheated on Leonardo. It was the first week they had became boyfriend and girlfriend. The first week they had made it official. Her ex-boyfriend had asked her to hang out so that they could finally give each other their stuff back. Angela was ready to move on with Leo. He was a way better man than her ex, but she still had feelings left behind for him. And that night, he seduced her. Until after that night, she stayed with Leo and fell deeply in love with him. And for three years after that, she was loyal to him. It was only the first week she had messed up. And Leo found out about it on the last week of their relationship and ended it. He then killed himself and framed Angela. She paid for this mistake with 10 years of her life in prison. The case was officially closed, but there was no justice. So that is the end of that story, but it brings me to wanna ask one question. If you found out, your boyfriend or girlfriend of three years cheated on you on the first week of your relationship. Would you throw out the other days they were loyal to you? Hmm. How important is the first week of your relationship and your loyalty on the first week only? Let me know your answers and your responses and what you guys think. Again, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what else you guys want to see on this channel. Thank you guys so much.